Well, it's easy to be accurate today. Very, very quiet weather pattern. Temperatures topping out in the low to mid 80s across the area this afternoon. While a little warmer than yesterday, yes, we still managed to keep those humidity levels low. On radar, really not finding too much to talk about. As far as that humidity, really still looking at fairly pleasant conditions. There's been a little uptick in humidity levels, and I think we're certainly going to start to notice that by tomorrow. But all in all, the air is still pretty dry, and it's that dry air mass that allowed us to have a pretty big range in temperatures. We had a morning low of 55 today in Springfield. 30 degrees later, we top out at 85 this afternoon. Even had some low 90s on the map here back toward I-49. We're going to be sampling some of those hotter readings as we close out this week. Temperatures right now, though, feel pretty good outside. Um, looking at generally low to mid 70s across the area, currently 75 in Springfield against skies right now they're clear there have been some showers and thunderstorms off to the west here south of i-70 we have a front in that area notice the storms fired up where there's more moisture available this is again our muggy meter and really that's sort of representative of higher dew points and that's where showers and thunderstorms managed to fire up uh, during the heat of the afternoon overnight tonight with this warm front in place and it kind of noses into uh, west central parts of the state we're going to have a low level jet that will be interacting with that front and I think that that will generate a few spotty showers later tonight and that risk will probably continue into Thursday as that front slowly lifts toward the north and east. I think areas south of Highway 60, it's going to be another dry one north of Highway 60, particularly closer to central Missouri is where we'll have that shot at maybe an isolated shower or two. So here's our hour by hour forecast again tonight looks pretty, uh, pretty quiet across most of the area. There's that little risk of a few showers trying to sneak in north of Nevada over toward uh, maybe Appleton City and Clinton. That activity will try to build a bit further east during the morning hours. So it's not out of the uh, realm of possibility that places like maybe Lincoln and Warsaw south down through Hermitage east across Camdenton, Lake Ozark, Versailles, maybe Eldon, even as far east as Waynesville and Rolla, we could see a shower in any of those spots. But south of there, I do expect the day to stay dry. Temperatures tonight, not as cool as last night, but still pleasant. Uh, looks like areas south of the interstate will likely dip into the low 60s, while areas north of the interstate and west of Highway 65, mid 60s ought to do it for lows. Here in Springfield, I think we'll get down to about 64 for the low. For tomorrow, we'll see highs in the mid to upper 80s generally, but you saw today back toward I-49, already looking at low 90s. I think we're going to be looking at the same readings tomorrow afternoon. Here in Springfield, expecting a high of 88 degrees. Now the pattern, as we close out the week and head into the upcoming weekend, we're saying goodbye to the pleasant air. And on Friday, we're looking at, I think, what will be a hot and humid day. There will be a bit more moisture working into northern Arkansas and southern Missouri, south of Highway 60. So I think we're going to see a little bit more cloud cover here, partly cloudy skies, and maybe a few isolated showers and thunderstorms for the afternoon hours. Areas to the north should stay dry. Saturday will offer up a chance for showers and thunderstorms, um, which will probably be at the highest level since Monday of this week. Uh, it looks like at the very least, we should find widely scattered to scattered showers and thunderstorms here across northern Missouri and to central parts of the state. And some of this activity may try to work down closer to the state line, but I do think that it will it will be wetter north and drier south on Saturday. And if you don't get the rain on Saturday, I think chances actually take a dip on Sunday into Monday as it looks like high pressure upstairs is going to try to build back over the area. That said, it's going to be hot and humid and I still think there are going to be some isolated showers and thunderstorms around both Sunday and Monday. Rain chances look like they may tick a little bit higher Tuesday into Wednesday, but it's still going to be warm with highs in the upper 80s and lows around 70 degrees. All in all, it's June. We're heading toward July. That's a pretty typical forecast, I think. It's not unpleasant. It's going to feel like right summer. Now. Yeah, it's going to like feel like summer. <laughs> it's summer, y'all. It, it yeah. is summer. Can't complain, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. You got to deal with it. You just got to live with it. Got to live with it. Yeah. Viewers Club. All right, number tonight is 154-400. Jackpot, $800. All right, thanks, Jamie. Still to come for you tonight, a federal